In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a creative design that can be used for travel or tourism uh, flyer or the brochure or you can use as a cover page or the cover slide or the title slide. And as you can see here, I have just added this image uh, in the background and I have used some nice uh, colors here to represent the brochure. And then you can add the headline or the subheadline at the bottom and you can give more text on the left side and on the right side you can add the company logo and I have added the frames of blue and white. Likewise, I just added some more slide with different backgrounds. You can see here I can use this one or I, it can be used for this purpose or if you want you can use for your uh, master slide for your uh, annual report so whatever you feel best you can use this slide for so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and i'm going to add an image here for that go to insert either you can directly click on image to download the image but generally i create a rectangle or any other shape and later on we can increase or decrease the size and then right mouse click go to format shape click on the fill click on picture or texture fill this is the last time i have used by default it's coming or you can just go to insert either you can just select from file or online pictures or from the icons so not from the icons but you can go online or from a file so i have used uh, this particular image which i have downloaded from the internet so and let me just remove this uh, outline and you can just increase or decrease the size according to your uh, requirement and you can just play with this also offset features for example if i want to increase more or decrease more you can just do whatever you like to do with this one so the bottom place i'm just going to add the titles or the subtitles or the contact details here and here I'm just going to add some more uh, shapes to give a, a design kind of thing. For that go to insert shapes and I'm going to select from the basic shapes the right triangle. And draw the right triangle. Maybe this much size. Later on we can increase or decrease, not a problem. And then shape outline, make it no outline. And you can give a gradient fill here. As you can see here, the last time I have used, I have uh, used two stops here, one for the dark blue and other is the uh, light blue and I have given the transparency effect. You can see here, you can give how much transparency effect you need. So whichever way you feel better, you just put the transparency effect. And then I'm just going to add one more uh, right triangle which comes from the other side. So for that go to insert shapes and select a right triangle again and draw the right triangle because it is going in this direction I just need to change rotate flip horizontal and just say flip vertical can you see here and you have to make sure that this is perfectly aligning. And then this also shape outline and make it no outline and you can give either a gradient fill or you can just give one dark color for example I can just give one dark color here as I said you have to keep in mind that this has to be aligned properly otherwise uh, it won't look good so after aligning this one I can give this a gradient fill or I can just go with a one color also so for this I'm just going to select and press ctrl D once again and I'm going to give some lighter colors you can see here whichever color you like to give and again just put exactly on top and then start reducing the size and from here also you can see here like this so this is one color and again I'm just going to add one more just press ctrl D and whichever color you like to choose again choose it and put it exactly on the top of the first one and again you can start reducing the color uh, the size you can see here and just let me reduce the size 
you can see here and make sure that as I said it has to be fully aligned otherwise it may go here and there now once this is done I'm just going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to give some different color or the gradient color whatever maybe I have used here or if you want you can give some different colors and then rotate sorry go to format rotate I will just say a flip vertical can you see and I'm just going to keep it on the top of this and again if you want you can just reduce the size a little bit make sure that it is aligned properly and then I'm going to give a curved shape for that right mouse click go to edit points and click the top point and just drag it a little bit down and here also just drag a little bit down so you can see here you got kind of a curve shape here and then I'm just going to select this this and I'm going to give a shadow effect just say what so you can see here almost our design is ready now the next thing is you can add some detail text here on the right side you can add the company logo and at the bottom you can add the 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 main title or the subtitle so before adding the text or the logos uh, if you like to have you can just add a frame for that go to insert shapes and from basic shapes i'm just going to select this frame and just make it covering the whole slide and then reduce the width by dragging it outside the small orange point you can see here whichever how much width you want you can just put it here for example you can see here and whichever color you like to have you can just choose it shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can add one more by pressing same control D let me just put it here on top exactly and increase the width a little bit you can see here and I can just give a white color to it just make sure that it is properly aligned and then just send this to back so you got the white and the blue frames now let's add the text the first one the title just go here select I'll just say headline and I'm going to use the font called Century Gothic sorry and increase the size make it bold you can see here how much size you need and if you want you can use a gradient fill for this also but anyway let me just keep it a blue color and below you can add some more detail points as well and then I'm just going to add some more text here you can just add your text maybe this is uh, bold I'm going to use the same century gothic use the same font color and I can add some more details so you can see here like this you can just add some details and if you like to give some different color also whichever color which is visible you can just use it here and on this side you can add the company logo so with this uh, you can see here our brochure design or flyer or the main title whatever you say it, it's ready that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.